Let us look at this question. 3, 1, x5 is a multiple of 9. Find x. Now, here x is an unknown value, but it is given that this four digit number is a multiple of 9. So, we have to use those properties of divisibility, test for divisibility to find out this value of x. Now, if you see the total of these values which are given, this is 3 plus 1 plus 5, it is already 9. Therefore, the value of x could be 0 because if I am putting 0 to this, the value will remain 9 itself and we know that 9 is divisible by 9. So, one possible value is that x is 0. So, we have one number as 3105, the total of this is 9. If the total is 9, then we can say that 3105 is a multiple of 9. But there could be other values of x. Can x be 1? Now, if I take x as 1, the total is going to be 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. Now, 10 is obviously not divisible by 9. Can it be 2? So, if I take 2, then the total is going to be 9 plus 2, 11. Again, it does not go. Can we try out numbers like this 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on and I will find that when x is 9, the total comes out to be 18 because this total of 315 is already 9. If x is further 9, so we get 3, 1, 9 and 5 and the total of this is 18 and we know that 18 is a multiple of 9, 9 into 2 is 18. So, 18 is divisible which means that x could also have a value of 9. So, we have two values of x at the moment, x is 0 and x is 9. We cannot take more values of x because this particular value of x is a single digit number. So, you do not have to take values beyond 9. So, the maximum value we have seen here 9 and minimum we have seen and we have tried out all the numbers between 0 and 9 and none of them we will find that is going to fit into this and none of them will be multiple of 9. So, we have two answers x is 0 and x is 9. Here we have another example of the same type, but now it is a multiple of 3. So, we have 3, 1, x and 5 is a multiple of 3. So, this is a 4 digit number and it is a multiple of 3. So, add up this we get 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 1, 9 plus x. Now, 9 plus x has to be a multiple of 3. So, x could be 0 because if x is 0, we get the total of these 4 digits as 9 itself and we know that this number will 3 will go 3 times in 9. So, I can say that the first value x is a 0. Can we take x as 1? We cannot take because if I take 9 plus 1, this will become 10 and we know that 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 and 3 4s are 12. 10 is not going in this particular frequency. So, what happens is that we cannot take this value of 1, we cannot take it as 2. So, the next value which will be a multiple will be 12. So, which means that I have to add 3 more to 9. If I add 3 more to 9, then we will get 12 and we know that 3 4s are 12. So, 12 is a multiple of 3. So, another value of x could be 3, but is that the only value? Can we take more values? We can say that 9 is already the total. The next value of x could be 6 because we know that 3 4 are 12 and 3 5 are 15. So, even if the total is 15, then we can say that it is a multiple of 3. So, the value of x could be 6. Can it be 7? 9 plus 7 is 16 but 16 does not go in 3. Can it be 8? No, because 9 plus 8 is 17, 17 does not go in 3. So, here the next value we will take is 9. So, 9 plus 9 is 18. So, we know that 18, 3 goes 6 times. So, 18 is a multiple of 3. So, here we can say that x value is 9. So, in this particular question we are getting four different values of x. So, x could be 0, 3, 6 and 9 and as we explained here before that the value of x is a single digit number. So, you need not try out values beyond 9. So, all the answers will lie between 0 and 9 and in this particular question we saw four values of x could satisfy this given condition that 3, 1, x 5 is a multiple of 3. So, x could be 0, 
x could be 3, x could be 6 and x could be 9. So, we have to discuss all the cases and write the final answer like this.